All right, so had a few packages come in. Now that we're gonna be doing a couple series on my channel, I said, let me upgrade my camera equipment. <clears throat> right now I'm using a GoPro Hero 10 Black. So, um, nice. I decided to go ahead and purchase none other than the media mod. So um, we're gonna have fun with this. I just want you guys to be able to hear audio as it comes out of um, my audio interface that I use. I use an Apollo Twin Duo. And um, I wanna give you guys the best audio quality possible. So this media mod should allow me to um, connect my interface directly to the GoPro so you can hear exactly what I hear. So I'm really excited about that. And also, got one more thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. So I got me a flex clamp, a flex clamp. Flex clamp, tongue twister. Got that. Um, so as I'm performing or doing anything, I want some more, um, you know, just some different angles, some more cinematic angles, some different footage for you guys. I'll be able to attach this GoPro to different areas and on different things, giving, you know, different types of shots. So yeah, that's the update. All right, let's get down to business. What's going on? For all my returning subscribers, welcome back. For all my new viewers, welcome to the family. As you can see in the title, we're talking about how to make it out. This is episode two. If you haven't seen episode one yet, go ahead and check that out first. I'll make sure I'll put a link in the description. Now we on episode two. You can see in the title, I call this episode concept. So that should give you a foreshadow as to what we're about to get into in this episode. Hopefully, if you made it to this episode, you already made up in your mind that you want to make an album. You're serious about making an album, be it you being the role of a producer, you being in the role of the artist, mixing engineer, the master engineer, whatever you want to be. But before we even cut on a computer, before we even hit a note, before we start making ideas and coming up with, you know, melodies, singing and all the fun stuff recording, there's a couple questions that you need to answer first to give yourself a clear direction as to where you're heading. If it's you with the team, you know, have this discussion together because you all need to be involved and you all need to know where you're trying to go. If it's you by yourself, try to split your brain, metaphorically speaking, if it's just you, answer these questions from a marketing perspective, from a producer's perspective, and then, you know, from the artist's perspective also. Just to give yourself, you know, honest feedback and um, not biased feedback from only one perspective. So the first and maybe the most important question is why are you making an album, right? What's your primary motivation behind making the album is really the question. What's your driving force? And if you don't know how to answer that question, let me help guide you a little bit. Is your driving force intrinsic? Is it something inside you that you have to get out? Be it a message or a melody, you know? So don't overthink, oh, you know, message has to be this, melody has to be this. One can come before the other. Message can come before melody and melody can come before message. Maybe it's something that you've been humming all day or you've been humming for a week, you don't have no words to it, but every time you hum it, you're like, man, that's a dope melody. Or maybe you have a message that you need to get out that you have no melody for, so maybe that's where you're coming from. But you have to have a direction, and that's gonna be the foundation that you're gonna lay for the rest of your project. Now, keep this in mind too. Once you hit that moment to where you're like, okay, this concept would be so cool. Or if you have a melody and you're like, man, ooh, I could just hear the beat in my head. I could just hear the whole project. I know what number one, number two is gonna be. I've been humming this melody for a minute. That sound like an intro, or maybe that sound like an outro. You already there. Hold on to it. That's your foundation. 
let that drive you and let that lead you as you go through the process of making the rest of the album. But that's your foundation. Keep that foundation at the forefront of your mind as you create. The second most important question that you have to ask yourself is, who's my target audience? Because that will determine how you create and who you're creating for. So am I gonna have a serious approach to creating my album or is it just more of a fun approach? You can talk genre. What's the genre of the album? Is it rock, hip hop, you know, is it R&B? And also keep in mind that there are sub genres or sub niches inside every genre. So you need to get as specific as possible so that you know exactly what your direction is, what your focus is. That way you don't stray too much. Now, when I mention straying, that's not to say that you can't explore the other sub niches or the other sub genres within the context of your album, but you need to maintain a focus in order to have a project that maintains some uniformity. That's what I'm saying. So uniformity, Essentially, it's the ability to retain the attention of those who are drawn to your project. You don't want a person to love a song on your project, be it, let's say, song number one, and then they go to song number two, song number three, song number four, and as the album goes on, they're more and more thrown off and turned off by the rest of the project because you drifted too far away from your foundation. You drifted too far away from song number one. So you can drift, but don't drift too far away to where you're throwing your people off. If you start throwing your people off now, they, they're losing faith, they're losing trust in you, essentially. So keep that in mind. Maintain your focus, know your genre, know your niche. You can explore other niches, but you know, just stay within the realm of what you created, your foundation. So to round this episode off, I'm going to explain to you all what my album is gonna be the niche that I'm going to be exploring and who my audience is. So, my album is going to be R&B that you can consider a form of contemporary R&B. So, you can reference artists like Frank Ocean or, you know, Party Next Door. Just in the sense that I will be pushing the boundaries of where R&B can be but still maintaining the soul element of traditional R&B. So for me, my audience is like a mixture of those who love the energy and the freeness of modern music, you know, modern R&B, you know, just, man, I'm just trying to go to the club. I just want to play this music with the top now while I'm riding, like me and my homies, we just vibing out. Or for a female audience, you and your girls, y'all just want to have a good time. But also, I'm thinking about the people who miss the soul and the melodies and even the instrumentation, the live music, the live bass, you know, the piano, the real instruments from the R&B eras of the 80s, the 90s, and even the early 2000s. So that's where I'm going. That's my foundation. And as we walk through this process together, we're gonna build on that foundation and you'll see how I push the boundaries of those styles, of those eras but also maintain the soul and the focus of traditional R&B, you know? So thank you for joining me for episode two. On episode three, we're going to start diving into the computer and we're going to start making music. We're going to start putting this thing together. So like, comment, subscribe, share this with those who need this. Share this with those who you know have music dreams, entertainment industry dreams, and, um, Let's go through this process together. I'll see y'all next time. All right, let me stop playing. <laughs>